makaka-blessed. Amen. Pag nag-book tayo sa ating Panginoon. Last day ko na nga yun. We wish you na agad, Becca. Oh, Maya ka na. Maya ka na lang speech. Maya na lang speech. Good morning everyone, we would like to call Sister floor for the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering us here today. We thank you for all you have given us, and the many blessings in our lives. We ask for your guidance and strength. Enlighten us by your Holy Spirit, and fill us with courage and wisdom. Help us to remember your love and grace, and to be faithful in our service to you. Give us the patience and understanding to face life's challenges with grace. We ask these things in your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now stand. that the healing power had gone out from him. So he turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? His disciples answered, You see how the people are crowding around you? Why do you ask who touched you? But he kept looking around to see who had done it. Then the woman, aware of what he had happened, came forward, trembling and afraid. She knelt down, she knelt before him and told him the whole truth. 
Then Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be free of this illness. While Jesus was still speaking, some people arrived the hospital, the official's house, to inform him, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the master any further? But Jesus ignored what they said and told the official, Do not fear, just believe. And he allowed no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house, Jesus saw a great commotion with people weeping and wailing, wailing loudly. Jesus entered and said to them, Why all this commotion and weeping? The child is dead. It's not dead, but asleep. They laughed at him. So Jesus sent them outside, went with the child's father and mother and his companions into the room where the child lay. Taking by her hand, he said to her, Talitha kum, which means little girl, get up. The girl got up at once and began to walk around. She was 12 years old. The parents were amazed, greatly amazed. Jesus strictly ordered them not to tell anyone about it. And he told them, give her something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And please listen for the repeat reading of the gospel by Sister Shirley. Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus then across the cross to the other side of the bay. And while he was still on the shore, a, crowd, a, a large crowd gathered around him. Charles and officials of the synagogue came up and said, Jesus threw himself to at his feet and begged him earnestly, my little children is up at the point and of death. Come and lay your hands on her, so that she was as she may get well and live. Jesus went with him, and many people followed, pressing around him. Among the crowd was a woman who had suffered from bleeding for the 12 years. She had suffered a lot at the hands of many doctors and had spent everything she had. But instead of getting better, she was worse. Because she had heard about Jesus, this woman came up behind him and touched his cloak, thinking, if I just touch his clothing, I was get well. Her flow of blood dried up at once, and she felt in her body that she was healed of her complaint. But Jesus was conscious that healing power had gone out from him, so he turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my cloth? His disciples answered, You see how the people are crowding and around you. Why do you ask who touched you? But he kept looking around to see who had done it. Then the woman, aware of what had happened, came forward trembling and afraid. She knelt before him and told him to the whole truth. 
Then Jesus said to her, to her, your faith was saving. Go in peace and be free of this illness. While Jesus was still speaking, some people arrived from the official's house of house to inform him, your daughter is dead. Why, tr uh, why trouble the master any further? But Jesus ignored what they said and told the officials, do not be afraid. Just believe. And he allowed no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house, Jesus saw a great commotion with people.